Hello everybody and welcome to the second part. And yes, I'm gonna go alphabetically. So we are starting Group B and we'll start with the team that I'm wearing, of course. Barcelona. And we already saw the home shirt in my La Liga jersey review. I think it's a really nice shirt overall. Maybe the striping is too thin, I reset that. So therefore I think I went with um, eight stars on that one. Just let me check. I have all the my notes here. I gave an 8 here and it's a classic design. I actually like how they used the uh, taping for uh, the Catalan flag. I think it's a really nice touch. I really wish the striping was a little bit wider, more like this shirt. The colors are beautiful, so no complaints from me there. Um, and yeah, if the pants were in the same color, but you know, even in the season of this one, they were darker pants. So yeah, I guess we can live with it. Um, the away jersey, I really like that they went with the neon yellow color. Again, I've been missing that one. I really want to have the Barca shirt where uh, the, it has the vertical off center stripe in blue and red uh, and on the neon yellow jersey. This is very, very similar, um, but the jersey is maybe too plain. It just has the stripes here on the side. Um, in blue and red. So um, while I really like that and I think paired with the dark pants, it really makes for a splash and maybe it's one of the better Barcelona away kits. Barcelona unfortunately never has a dedicated uh, away kit like say Milan does. But I think overall this is uh, nice looking. Yeah, the color could be a little bit better. Uh, you know, it fakes kind of this thin shirt color without being there. Yeah. But I think it's consistent in itself. For that reason, I also gave this eight. I think the Barca kits are all right. The one that you have to get used to is, of course, the peachy, pinky, reddish third jersey, which, again, the color is what bugs me. Although the color is maybe also what makes me want to probably get one of these because that's the first time that a pink team that I count among my let's say top four or five teams there is a pink and that's a color that's missing in my collection and my daughters really wanted to have a pink shirt and i think this one i could get on board with however i like especially the design because it mimics the cityscape of barcelona and of course the avingu the diagonal which they have with the diagonal pattern i'm not so sold on the pink pattern i'm not so sold on the silver crest um the sponsor of course is a little bit hiding the pattern as well um i really want to see it in play to be honest um this way yeah it's interesting but it's also not anything great i want to go almost because the color yeah Barcelona wore pink before it's either four or five but i still want to go four but now nah, let's go five, just for the reason, because I can't imagine having this one. Um, and it is a little bit different, but it's one of those fives where I'm really struggling with, honestly. But at least the pink and the red used are still somewhat in the club colors. Again, make the crest not monochromatic, maybe put the full, full color on there, but I guess that's the design. Okay, so that was Barcelona. Now we go to Tottenham, where the home jersey I really, really like overall. Tottenham is one of those that just have a nice looking kit. Again, the shirt collar, uh, the fake shirt collar is not entirely to my liking. Um, we can discuss, of course, the red sponsor. Uh, it's not very intrusive since it's only three letters, but the red is a little bit in contrast to the entire kit and then the fade on the bottom. Actually, it looks nice with the uh, navy pants. Uh, if they were white pants, it doesn't go that well. So I will stick with my eight here, especially since the taping could do a little bit more, although it's not that bad. And then the dedicated away jersey, I like the navy blue, um, but it's a little bit too much the frosk, and they don't even use the nice frost colors here. A little bit more could be there. It doesn't scream Tottenham to me, honestly. Um, Although it's not a bad kit per se, if I look at all the Nike away kits or the use this template, this one sticks out as striking, but um, I still 
It doesn't convince me as much as the frost jersey. Maybe it's the color. Maybe it's that the color is not as bright as the frost jersey. I gave the frost jersey, I think, eight, and I'm gonna give this seven. And yeah, it's a navy blue, and I'm not feeling the highest. And they also have a third kit. We'll see a lot of third kits in this countdown. This is the Tottenham version of it. Which, yeah, I read it has uh, inspiration from the uh, Tottenham kit from the early, late 80s, made by Hummer. You can see the diagonal striping from it, that's why the upper part is dark, the lower part is the light. Of course, you have the map of Northern London in there, but you gotta know, it's, know that it's there, but yeah, okay, give it to them. And then the monochromatic crest, and of course the colors. Uh, this almost falls the Atletico way a little bit. I wish that if they take the inspiration from the kit from the late 80s, that this inspiration is a little bit more prominent because it gets totally lost with the um, uh, city print, uh, with the map on there. I have to look very, very close to make it out. And I think this is a missed opportunity there. Um, so yeah, the color also, I mean, at least there's navy on top, so there's a little bit more connection to Tottenham. And I guess, yeah, then in this case, you can throw in a crazy color. Uh, I like it definitely better than Atletico Madrid, and it's probably right around the range of the Barcelona kit. It doesn't scream Tottenham, but at least the navy that's used has some connection to the team and for that I think I'm gonna go also gonna give this five also that they're trying to do it but I think it's more like a missed opportunity uh, I know Nike is every year coming out with third kits especially for the Champions League although some of them are worn in the league as well just to put your teams with different colors I have the feeling okay then let's go to a team that we haven't seen so far that's PSV Eindhoven um, which have an Umbro home kit, which has the classic PSV striping that I like a lot. Um, but I think it's a little bit too much towards the edges, a little bit too much 2000s, maybe even 90s. You have, you know, the color has this weird stripe here. You have the taping here on the um, sleeves, which is most Umbro kits have this. Then you have this weird pattern on the side, on the shoulders. Uh, so while at first it looks classic, overall I'm not sure if this is a really good look. Um, but I think I'm still gonna go with seven here because at least they preserve the striping as it should be. Also the black sponsor connects them with the black pants and there's a little bit black on the collar. The collar is a whole mess, honestly. All the shoulders. So everything gets kind of on the periphery of the shirt if you would like, meaning the sides and the sleeves, does not scream PSV Eindhoven, but the main part does, and for that I think I'm comfortable with 7, but um, yeah, I've gone more strict on jerseys like these in the past. I do like, however, the away jersey, yeah, it's uh, black navy, it has actually the colors of the Croatia awake that I hate it, but here it is one color and then you have the shoulders in uh, the navy. The color looks completely odd. It reminds me of those Nike colors in the mid 90s. And maybe that's exactly what they wanted to go for. Um, but I like that this red accent here. Maybe they should have done a little bit more. The red, white, and there's also the umbra diamonds here on the side are red and white. Um, I think this is well crafted. Yes, it is weird. The color could be better, um, but other than that, I think this is well crafted and doesn't hit me as annoying as this Croatia kit. Just personal feeling, and yeah, now the drive is completely crazy. I'm gonna give this eight stars. And then the third jersey, uh, which yeah, is an all part of an all white look. That one I understand a little bit less. I mean, the pattern here recalls maybe a little bit the 1988 uh, Netherlands jersey just slightly or the Netherlands away jersey from 2014 um, but I yeah the turquoise it's a little bit a head scratcher like the Schalke kids uh, I give them props although it doesn't look good 
uh, that they have the full color crest. So I give them props for that. That is a nice touch. I think it makes some sense because I mean the red and white dark it, it, it provides a very distinct contrast. So I give them props for that too and uh, the spawns in the same color is alright. I think all over it's not a bad kit. I wonder a little bit about the choice of color. Um, but yeah, as an away jersey and PSV, yeah, well, where can you go? You can make um, probably an all white kit with red accents, would, would have been maybe a little bit better. But I think I'm also gonna give this 7 because the overall look of it is not a bad one. I just question a little bit the color. And then part of me is smiling, part of me is clapping my head. The lowest series team in this group is, of course, Inter. I already said that I, in principle, like the home jersey. Uh, it has the classic with the striping. I'm even okay with the black sleeves. Just this, even the snake pattern on the bottom, but it makes the bottom a little bit too dark. But overall, I think for an Inti jersey, it's quite nice. I just wish there's a little bit more. The taping on the back could have been used. I mean, they have a little snake on there, but I think that could have been used a little bit more. Make the snake pattern maybe all over the stripes or something like that. Don't put a fade in there. Um, but yeah, I like the idea. I think the more I look at it, the more I like it. I think I gave it seven. And this might be due for a regrade. I mean, I saw it in action. It doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm really gonna do this. I think I'm so happy that the, the classic industry with the black Santa stripe. I wish the sleeves were striped. Yes, I wish the snake pattern would maybe be all over. Do a little bit more, but um, it has the makings of a good inter kit. So yeah, Milan fan upgrading inter. Take note, take note. Um, honestly, as much as I like to hate inter without inter, life would be boring. Really, really, really. We need to get good. We also need the bad. I also like the away kit with the overall print and I just look and look up, I think I gave this nine stars and yeah, so it proves to be true. Yes, nine stars. It's a classic in the away kit. It's well crafted, it has the all over snake pattern in there. Um, I like the color in two different colors. Maybe the print could have gone on the sleeves too, but there's something happening there um, and I like the simplicity of it. Uh, and that the sponsor also fits. You have the blue sponsor and the black swoosh. I think this is a nice touch too. This is really a nice kit, even if you've seen in action. I'm not particularly fond of the font that's used on the back. You can see that in my uh, Serie A review. Here I'm just gonna give you uh, the front of the jerseys. And then the fourth kit is the one that I have to say they I think I don't like it because of the gray. It's in person, it doesn't look as bad. It looks like white with a black cross. But I wish that the cross was at least black or blue, have some relationship to Inter's color. Um, also, okay, take the cross. It's the flag of the city of Milan. But if you want to propagate it, you're the city, the city team, I have a little bit of a problem with that. Um, you know, Milan is a team of two cities. Uh, and I even think that Milan is, you know, I might be wrong, but I think Milan is this, is historically the team that's more rooted in the city. It's more the working class team and um, Inter is more, I want to say the upper class team, you know, the nobles are more for Inter. So, you know, Take it as you is. Uh, I think in that sense all the color schemes fit. But uh, that jersey I never liked. I also never understood the yellow taping on the back. I'm gonna stick here with the four stars. I, I like the city print on there. I like the cross. I really dislike the colors. And uh, there is absolutely no connection with the city of Milan. Well, that was part two. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about all these jerseys. And yeah, uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. Tomorrow I'll post the third part, which will be then Group C. I'm kind of boring. I might have to jump a little bit around. But yeah, for now, I'm going to stay with Group C. Okay, see you tomorrow.